this is quite important for Kiribati, as we have a, as we are going to make a case from this right shop. The delegation members actually are led by the, the Secretary, Ministry of Justice, that's Carol Ness. And regarding to the priority of our submission, as we, as I had mentioned previously, that we'll be focusing on three areas. One is we'll be focusing on the our he is it, that is fisheries, marine stock, and the together with the coral bleaching, that's the most serious uh, effect of the climate change, where fish are dying, as well as uh, you know uh, there are poison fish in certain islands of Kiribati. The second area that we'll be looking at is the the erosion of land where most of our people are being uh, evacuating their own piece of land just because of the sea level rise. And we'll be looking at that in, the, in a depth uh, study and in a depth uh, area of our scope that we'll be working with the experts from our concerned ministries, which is the Ministry of Environment, Land and Agriculture Development. Then the final uh, assessment that we'll be looking and interested to looking at is the implication of the our water, water and sanitation. And this is quite vital for the people of Kiribati where the if the water is a bit salty and then there will be no choice for the you know, for better living and water uh, for the for the consumption for the people. So we're looking at this area, the three areas, but there are also other areas that we'll be interested to look into, which is the uh, the agriculture activities, such as uh, you know uh, building the our own traditional foods and support those traditional food by not being affected by the climate change. the The final area that uh, maybe which is the fourth area, we'll be looking at the the gender based by uh, gender based equality on the climate change, as well as the right to life for the children, for education, and when climate change happens, what will happen to them? And as well as the, the right for disabilities. These three areas that the government has actually ratified, those three conventions, and we'll be looking at in, in terms of their rights not to be preached, as well as the, the solidarity of the commitment of international partners who have been agreeing into supporting the what we call a Paris Agreement, and Kiribati is actually in a very front line of the climate change effects. As a team and as a delegation of Kiribati, we need to put evidences, science evidences, on the climate change, as we acknowledge the experts from SPC. SPREP, as well as the BIF and other international partners that have been providing this science, uh, science evidence that we could use in our submission to ICJ.